Dr. Jeff Boone here from the Boone Heart Institute in Denver, Colorado. I want to speak with you for a few minutes about the impact of stress. Now, there's certainly a great profession that is involved with helping you with the psychological components of stress. My career and my interest is often more directed toward keeping us alive and well medically while we're under the stress of the world. And that sometimes is a little different. Certainly I want you to feel well about life and get counseling and perceive optimal areas of psychology and spirituality and all of that. But in my world, I'm really interested in are you gonna have a heart attack, stroke, or some other unhealthy uh, type of a disease process. We've defined in the cardiovascular system what we call the cardiovascular consequences of mental intensity. Sometimes using the term intensity is a little softer on people. You know, you sort of hate to be told you're stressed out, but being told you're intense sometimes is a compliment. So we kind of develop that idea as we go forward. And another thing that's interesting in that process is during that intensity, even during this little talk I'm giving, there are at least 15 or 20 easily measured things that are changing in my cardiovascular system, all of which are important to life and death, but also potentially causative of life and death. My last name is Boone. I'm related to Daniel Boone. And we go back a few hundred years and the same stress that he might feel doing some sort of stressful activity was usually involved with bear claws and tomahawks and, and he needed a high clotting of blood to keep him alive and well. Well in my world if my blood clots excessively that's just the usual causative factor in the terminal event of a heart attack or a stroke. So in my world whenever I'm stressed I know it's good that my clotting is controlled. That's controlled by 10 fruits and vegetables a day, vitamins, fish oil, all that helps along with aspirin. So those are the kinds of things to think about. Now, very hard to measure clotting or stiffness of the heart or constriction of the blood vessels, uh, thickening of the heart muscle, changes in the kidney. All of those are happening during stress. And at the Boone Heart Institute, we evaluate those all in detail in our executive patients. But very simply, blood pressure is the one thermometer that you can use to measure all of those things. So I would encourage you in your office to take your normal, real blood pressure, and then if you want to know what it's like during stress, we do a simple mathematics challenge. You do a serial 7 subtraction, 777 minus 7 is 770, and keep going out loud and have one of your assistants take your blood pressure. And then, especially for males, but anyone, don't deny the result. When the blood pressure elevates, it is real, and it is you during the workday. So those elevations, very deadly and dangerous. The lower the blood pressure, the lower your death rate, the lower all of these stress responses. So when I have a blood pressure of 105 over 68, every other entity of my cardiovascular consequences related to stress are also cooled off as well. Now beyond the mathematics challenge or a reverse alphabet or some sort of mental challenge, sometimes you can just Think about your tax return and blood pressure will go up. Beyond that though, the other side of the coin is learning how to control that blood pressure. And whenever you take five to 10 deep breaths, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Five or 10 times, look out the window, pretend you're looking at Maui, you will lower your blood pressure 30 points and you can document that. So that's very important. 30 point reduction in blood pressure in, without even taking a medicine. So remember that and then all of the other entities of cardiovascular consequences of stress will improve as well.